With this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can take a couple of sentences from one text box to be able to animate each line separately. Either you make an animation like that, or you make something like this. I was asked, how can you present text boxes so the text will be animated as you speak? Well, you have a couple of ways of doing this in PowerPoint. You will go to animations, and we have two types of animations that comply with what you want to do. Font color and brush color. The font color makes a seamless color over the text, while the brush color makes the text go one by one. We can adjust the speed of this. Let's assume that the brush color would work a tiny bit better here. We click on this text, we open the animation pane, and you can see this is one big long animation, which goes word by word. What we can do, since those are separate sentences here, I pressed enter after each sentence, I can double click on this animation, I can go into text animation, and I could, instead of treating this one text box as one object, I can treat the text as by first level paragraph. Each time you press enter, you are entering a new paragraph. By pressing OK, what happens now, I will have separate animations for each single line. Of course, depending on how quick you want the animation to be, you will click on the first animation and you can increase or reduce the duration. What's also important, you can double click on this animation. On the effects pane, you have animate text by letter and the percentage of delay between letters. The more the percentage, the longer the animation will take. Do not go like over 10% over here because it would get very long, but I could animate by word and show you the difference. I will animate by word to 6% and you will see the difference between the first and the second animation. All right, as I can see, this animation is very, very short. So I will extend the duration to maybe two seconds. It would take a total of four seconds because there is this delay between letters or words in this particular case. As you can see, 3.8 seconds. This should be completely enough to read the first sentence. If you would be my viewer, I would start by, my dear Mr. Brooks, Helen sends you a loving greeting this bright May day. You can see the animation is not perfect. I could slow it down, I could adjust it, but what's very important here, I can go sentence by sentence, I wouldn't have to rush anything. Well, I can't perfectly adjust how the text is animated because I can only adjust the entire text in bulk. So this would be the best possible way to do this. If you don't want the brush color, you can consider the font color. The font color will make a more seamless animation. What we can do here as well, we can double click, we can go into the effects and we can decide if a text should be animated all at once or by letter. By letter would make a nice fading from left to right. And in my opinion, this is more enjoyable to watch. Of course, the duration needs to be reduced now. The entire sentence would take four seconds. This should be perfect. And let's preview how this looks. All right, I would explain, I would tell you this sentence and it would approximately go as fast as I read. And I could go to the next, to the next. Of course, we have the brush animation here. This is the way you work with such text. Of course, this doesn't look like perfect. You could go to home, you could make the line spacing bigger, you could place the text in the middle, you could place it into the middle of the slide, you could make the text bigger. There's a lot you could do uh, with the des design of this text. Of course, I would try to make this on one sentence, for example, this on one line, and this text would slowly become a little bit better. But the most important thing is that you can animate sentences separately while not perfect, but it will make the viewing experience a tiny bit better. I hope this will be useful and I thank you politely for watching.